Welcome back! We're playing more Stay Tuned for Danger. Um, uh, before we took a break, Rick Arlen had an attempt on his, there was an attempt on his life. There was an assassination attempt and a light almost fell on his ass. So, uh, we're gonna keep playing. And I wanna go talk to him. He's the person I wanna talk to. Thank you for the welcome backs. I just realized my chat is on screen. Do you guys want chat on screen or do you want it taken off? Is it annoying? Are you, do you guys think you guys are annoying? I just didn't even realize it was on screen. On? I wanna be seen. All right, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. <laughs> We're playing more walking backwards, Nancy. This is the only Nancy Drew game where I've seen her walk backwards. I am very annoying, thank you for asking. <laughs> yes, I hate it here. Okay, I didn't know if it was too in the way or not. Entrez-vous. Um, he spoke French. Entrez-vous. Oh my god. Hello, good. I have my answer. Where have you been all my life? You know, the French does do something to me, but what really, what really has my, has my gears turned for this man is the lifeless look behind his eyes. <laughs> this man, this man does not care if he lives or dies. This man does not fear death. In fact, this man invites it. This man has nothing to live for. <laughs> uh, River Heights. Uh, River Heights? Touche. So, you're an old friend of Maddie's. She told me you were coming up to visit. She said you find me irresistible. What? Uh, actually, I find those letters you've been getting irresistible. I just love a good mystery. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, mi casa es su casa. You know, my house is your house. Thank well, you. Feel free to examine the evidence, Miss Drew, while I go off the wardrobe. Have a chocolate while you're at it. Stay beautiful. You know what I was saying about Maddie only connecting love with narcissistic people and that's how she finds it? That's what I'm getting from this. Because her mom is a huge narcissist, so she grew up with her mom, who is basically her stage mom her whole life. So that's what she connects with, like, love and relationships. And now she's dating this man who sucks. Oh my god, can I see what happens if I eat it? Die, Rick. Oh, it just says die, Rick, right here. <gasps> Can I eat one, please? Please! I can't! Devastating. I wanted to eat one. How do I loathe thee? Let me count the ways. I loathe thee to the depth and breadth and height. My soul can reach. I want you out of sight. For the ends of vanity and ideal conceit, I loathe thee to the level of every day's. Most quiet need by sun and candle flame. I loathe thee freely as you strive for fame. I loathe thee purely as you cannot turn from praise. I loathe thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I loathe thee with a hate I seem to lose with my better dates. I loathe thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if it comes to pass, I shall only love thee well after your death. What a read. What a renaissance read. That might be the first read ever. Literally, I won't be happy until you die. Holy shit. I'll only care about you after you're dead. Your time is running out. God, this stereo system, this thing I know has the crunchiest bass you've ever heard. Rick, do you think I'm that stupid? You send your boat to your upstate cabin? I know where that is, and I know where your Fifth Avenue penthouse is. Even I even know the access code. Change it, that won't stop me, because one day I'll meet up with you. There's no escaping my wrath. I'm much nearer than you think. Okay, so the one key thing here is that the Ys are lower. I don't know if that's a normal typewriter thing, but I don't think it is, so I feel like that's like a... Oh my god. If you won't be mine, you won't be anybody! <laughs> Oh my god. I'm tracking your every move. Watch out, I'm right behind you, BT Kaiser. Could you imagine? 
That would be so insane. That would be so unhinged. I'm going to get you, Rick. Your days as Rory Danner are numbered. I love how he just has them around like decor. Or like, oh shit, sorry. Or like old mail that he needs to get to, like a bill, like a paper bill. And he's like, oh, I'll just leave that out. Leave light of our love or else. <laughs> what if it's like his agent just trying to get him to make like a career move? Dear Mr. Arlen, I just want to write you and tell you how much of a fan I am of yours. A fan of your impending doom. <laughs> Damn. He got him. <laughs> I can't wait until that fateful moment as I watch you squirm and beg for mercy, but I won't give it. You don't deserve it, you coward. I Very ironic to call someone a coward when you're hiding behind, like, an anonymous name. It's a little on the nose. It's a little pot calling the kettle black or whatever. And don't think I'm not serious. I'm serious enough to keep a close eye on you. How did you enjoy your meal at Blake's last night with that trashy woman from, from Nash Cove? You ordered a red wine with your halibut, you fool. <laughs> and then you fell asleep in box 42 watching Soft Shoe. <laughs> uh, you ordered a red wine with your halibut, you fool. You know red halibut goes best with a white wine. <laughs> the night ended with a taxi ride to your boat in Slip 83. Afraid that I won't know of your secret hideaway? Maybe one day it'll sink with you in it. Love a fanatic. <laughs> What the fuck is this? I can I can kind of see why Rick doesn't take this seriously because it's honestly hilarious. It is really funny. Your time is running out. It's me, your faithful fanatic. Or am I now a lunatic? That's what you called me yesterday with your little group of followers. It's just one big joke to you, isn't it? Mm, yes, Rick, it's a joke and I'll be happy to deliver the punchline right in your face. This is so funny. I get it, I get it now. I get why he isn't taking this seriously. Scared you, didn't I? Good, because this was just a dress rehearsal. Only my revenge is truly sweet, Rick Arlen, so prepare for your long and bitter end. <laughs> God, what a nightmare. Can I take his keys? All right, I think I've seen everything I need to see. I'm out of here. Is this Maddie? No, that's Rick. This Maddie? It's open. Maddie, what happened? Oh, Nancy, this is horrible. There's no way that could have been an accident. I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage. I'm too upset to do this. Oh my this. God. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. This woman cannot have a single conversation longer than 90 seconds. It's like she's on a timer. She invites me somewhere. We talk for literally three seconds and she's like, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you, Fergie, for gifting a sub to Rick Arlen, the star. Thank you very much. I know he was just pining for a sub, so thank you. Is there anything different in here? It doesn't look like it. This all looks the same. She's a busy woman. Then why invite me places? She literally was like, come hang out in my dressing room and we can chat there. And then I show up and she's like, mm, I gotta go. <laughs> mm. Maybe I can talk to this producer or whatever. Oop. Sorry, I forgot I have to walk backwards. No? Okay, I can't. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Maybe... <gasps> May I help you? Yes, hi. I'm a friend of Maddie's, and I'm... Do I look like a tour guide? Look. The set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. <coughs> I love her. She's fierce. I love her. <laughs> I 
is she single? Oh my god. No, I love her. Okay, well, I guess we're leaving. I guess hey, we're going taxi. home. Where do lady? 72, 26, Lexington Killer. Island. No, I want her alive. Are you kidding? She's a treasure. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. I give this conversation 45 seconds. I just ran into Lillian, and she kicked me out of the studio. Yeah, Lillian's pretty cranky these days. Wait a minute. I've got an idea on how you can get back into the studio. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. Really? Who is your agent? Dwayne Powers. We've been friends for years. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Hmm. Would you do that? That'd help me get past Lillian and hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. How long was that? Did anyone time that? How long was it? Did it go over 45 seconds? I need to know. <laughs> Every time. I can't be like, so tell me about yourself. She'd be like, mm -hmm. I have to go walk my goldfish and then just leaves. Uh, maybe I should call. <gasps> I should see if Bess is back. She'd love this. It's tea. Okay, never mind. Maybe I should go to bed? Ooh. At night. Jump into the fire, Nancy. <laughs> Sorry. Intrusive thoughts. Oh! I should probably wait until daytime taxi where can i take you today miss 1999 broadway love that please. accent to be fair i relate to this woman and her avoidance of talking to people it's locked yeah i get it it's okay locked. i can't do anything here taxi yeah what's the address 318 west 10th street please you got it i am trouble Hmm. Oh, power talent is 101. Do you think I'll wake him up? I'm gonna save it. I feel like I might piss him off by doing this at night. Oh my god, that's loud. Okay, it's you're gonna... locked. All right, we'll hey, just try taxi. it in the morning. Where to, lady? Seventy-two twenty-six Lexington Avenue. Mm. On my way. Can't eat poison chocolate. Can't jump into the fire. What can you do in this game? All right, let's go. Taxi. Yeah, what's the address? I need to go meet with my West agent. Tenth Street, please. You got it. Let me in. Go away. Don't you understand? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. I'm in sweep 101. Come in. Uh, My bad. <laughs> Hello? Oh. He's in the basement? Oh, that's rough. Come in. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. They all got that, like... <laughs> They've all got those that look on their that their <laughs> I'm gonna try this again. They've all got that look on their face like they've seen something really traumatic that they've been living with for like ten years. <laughs> yeah, bestie. <laughs> Is that so? 
<laughs> yeah, something's something's off. He also looks like he has like, you know, when you look at a cat's eyes in a certain lighting, and you can see like the backs of their eyes or whatever that is, where their eyes go like red or green all of a sudden. He looks like he has that. I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, uh, yes. Maddie just called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? Maddie spoke highly of your abilities, and I am the more than happy are to so give good. a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally, I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. I'm waiting for him to be like, I'm just going to need a small down payment of $1,200. The mouthing is like, you need to relax. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, I was. But I must confess that the man has no talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd never have gotten to where he is now. You see, Rick Damn. foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you that sounds must like a be threat. anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. Damn. He went on in on Rick a little bit. Taxi! Where can I take you today, No talent, no talent! Broadway, please. Their mouth movements are so good. At least I know exactly what they're saying. I can't mistake it. Can I help you? Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the powers agency. <laughs> He's like, weren't you just here yesterday? You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Got it. Thank you and uh, good luck. I need to go talk to that director again. I'm sorry. I want to know everything about Lillian Weiss. Ah, I see Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. So, are you trying to get discovered or are you just hard up for a job? I'm just excited to start working with an experienced crew. You know, it's so much different than community theater. Ugh, don't knock yourself out, kid. You'll be on standby until we know when and if we'll need you. I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Well, I'll let you get back to your business. You do that. I'm obsessed with her. I need to know everything about her. <laughs> I love her. It's open. You were gonna talk to me for longer than 60 seconds. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. I guess to help him get out of his contract here. Hmm. Oh, it's my turn to say bye. My turn. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. How's it feel? Oh. Great, apparently. She just threw me out the door. Rick is gone. Um, can I go on set? Oh. I wonder if 
figure out this clock thing. Are you guys actually timing it? <laughs> That's so impressive. I need to know what the other one was. That was genuinely 45 seconds. <laughs> At least I ended it though. I just can't get over the fact that she invites me somewhere and then is like, mm, I gotta run. <laughs> okay, so there's gotta be like another arm around here somewhere. This feels like a trapdoor. I don't know. I want to look at the lights, but like I don't know how to do that. Uh, anything? Nor? You gotta taste the clock? Wait, what? Hold on, back up. What? Pardon? <gasps> oh, I can go up. Or can I? The wheel is stuck. No, no. What if I use this? The wheel is stuck. Remote control? The wheel is stuck. Okay. Um, I need to find the key for this. I need to find the key for this. I need to find the key okay. for this. I want to go up there. I have questions. I want to die, kinda. I don't think there were there was keys here. It was just a screwdriver, right? And that was it. I think so. Maybe prop lady has to give it to me or something. And there wasn't anything over here either. At least that I saw. Nothing. Okay, we should talk to Prop Lady, because I don't think I've spoken to her again. The woman who literally founded this whole company and now works in the prop room. It's open! I just need some WD-40, that's all. Yes, my dear. I need to get something for Maddie from the prop room. I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. I run all day and never walk. I tell you something, but I do not talk. It's a clock. What am I? Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. When you look at my face, it's easy to see. You're looking at you when you're looking at me. Mirror? What am I? Oh, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. How many? Soft is a pickle that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. Towel? What am I? That's it. I have stumped many people with my riddles. You guys got you kind of call me like stupid ever sleuth. again. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose. At least cover your mouth when you sneeze. Like, come on. We're in a pandemic, lady. I'm like, is that a cat? Oh my god, she has pictures of her cats. Um. I don't know how to play this. Hmm. That's her power move. She just sneezes on people. When gates are locked and paths are blocked, then look for other ways. Oh my God. <laughs> the answer lies beneath your eyes to this perplexing maze. The answer lies beneath your eyes. Is it on here? I don't know what any of this means. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know.
<laughs> Do you play Sneaker Night in C major? <gasps> oh, this puzzle's in Mass Effect! Oh my god, I know how to do this. Move the rings over one by one. Your moves can always be undone. Smaller ones must go first. Large over small is an instant curse. Move the rings to another side with success. The key will unhide. Literally, this is in Mass Effect. I've done it so many times. Oh my god. Is it here? Oh, but they don't let you move the big parts over. Mm. It's too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> oh my God, that's terrifying. <laughs> Who's slapping Nancy's ass? Why would you do that? I'm creepy. <laughs> it's literally because it's a puzzle you have to solve in Mass Effect every time you play, unless you have a hundred Omni Jail, which I never do. So I've just, and I've played Mass Effect like 5,000 times. So it's like stuck in my brain now. Clock. Oh. Oh, I can't fill it in. Mm. Found. Death. Threats lost. Beware. Trap. Wrath? Clock, bomb, broken, lock, key, huh. Funky. Anyways, why is everything in this studio just dangerous? A stop, drop, roll, exactly. You get it. Is there a reason why people didn't smile in old photos? Also, I want that key. Like, do we have like a historical reason why people didn't smile in photos? Hi, Janelle. Hi, sunshine. I've been looking a lot hotter since I got a vanity because I get to sit down while I do makeup now. So it's not like painful. It's so nice. Because they didn't have skincare. What's there to be happy about? They were like, oh man, we just missed the mark on technology. I could have had a Twitter. <laughs> That's so funny. Where does this key go? Dear Pine Hill Foundation, it's time again for our annual celebrity auction for Hollow Oak Children's Home, which will be held at Blackwood Hall on December 27th. Something, something, give us money. I can't get in here, I don't think. Ah! Nor. Oh! That scared me a little bit, sorry. <laughs> My diary. It's not supposed to look this obvious. Oh, you want me to read this text? Oh, it's someone traveling. Going to Brazil or something. This is from Brazil. <gasps> Was this? Oh, wait, what? I want to read that. We made the exact same noise at the same time. <laughs> We've already established that we're twins, long lost twins. Hmm. Could these be um, numbers of the alphabet? Maybe? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. Thank you. Okay, so thirteen M A N Y, so many, many sixteen P A G. E S pages. I hope this is relevant because <laughs> this is going to take me a minute. <laughs> C O M E come. Don't get weird chat. Hold it. B E F O R E before before <laughs> Oh my god T H I S this I N T H E the twelve fifteen seven ah. L O G log two fifteen fifteen eleven B O O K book twenty three W I T H with with A uh, is that a space? I can't tell. Three C L C L U E Wait, what? C L U E Oh my god <laughs> Like what's a clue here? my computer <laughs> I can never play this again anyways I'm moving on I've made my mistake and I'm moving on <laughs> uh, B U B U T but N O T H I so nothing nothing uh, C O M E S but nothing comes P 
Oh no, it's one six. I read sixteen. Uh, A F T after. Nothing comes after. T H I S this. We're almost done, chat. Rick has probably died by now. This puzzle has taken me so long that they've already held his funeral. You and L E S S unless I T S unless it's that's a long one. W R I T T E N written on twenty eight five T H E the seven twelve twenty one. G L U E on the glue. God, that took me so long. <laughs> Mr. Squiggles, thank you for 40 months. Thank you so much. Okay, it reads <clears throat> Many pages come before this in the log book with a clue, but nothing comes after this unless it's written on the glue. And I don't know what that means. So, yay. Uh, prop room, missing items, fake beard and mustache. Spirit gum adhesive. Maracas, 3D glasses, alarm clock, hacksaw. Oh, the hacksaw is missing, is it? Interesting. Sorry, in the logbook with a what? Stop. <laughs> In my mind, I read it as Klua. <laughs> what is that? What is a Klua? I'm sorry. It's just that like, I'm so bilingual because I have a 21 day streak in Duolingo for French. And it's just, my brain got how you say confused. <laughs> um... Hacksaw, 1113. Why doesn't it say who checked it out? Someone took out the hacksaw and I want to know who took it out. I am how you say, um, look confused. <laughs> God. The typewriter drops its Y. <gasps> oh. Fillion suffers from amnesia after suffering a concussion from a falling rat. Huh? Rory Danner is accidentally poisoned to death from poorly placed rat poison. Soon after the arrival of this E... Interesting. Interesting. Hmm... God, that one puzzle took me so long, I forgot where I was. I don't think I saw anything else in here. No one is permitted in the prop room at any time except for those people permitted in the prop room. <laughs> That's a great rule, thank you. I wasn't expecting that. All props must be signed out with the proper authorization from prop master. Anyone found in the prop room without proper authorization will relinquish any or all proper privileges to legal action as out um, of is Rick back yet? No. It's open. Rosalina, thank you! Have you found anything out yet? Thank you so much! That's so sweet! No. I really not appreciate yet. it. That's so yeah, kind. I get back to learning my lines. I hope tomorrow. that everyone that got this got this job loves their emotes. 
Thank you so much. Wow. That was very kind of you. Thanks. It's you again. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. <sighs> what I would give to have a hot female director and a, a shark, a sharp black bob slam a door in my Taxi. face. Yeah, what's the address? 318 <sighs> West 10th Street, please. What I wouldn't give. It's locked. Okay, fine. You're too good for me now. I get it. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? Seventy-two. I'm sorry, Queen. Avenue, please. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. It's locked. I wonder if I can call him. Oh! I have a can of oil. Oh my god! I have a can of oil. Taxi. We can go back. Where can I take you today, miss? Nineteen ninety-nine Broadway, please. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm so excited. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Mr. I should Drew. call him. <laughs> Thank you. You may proceed. I need something to make this work. I wonder why that's so funky. Okay, we have to try this. We have to make this work. I need to know what's up there. Oh, but I don't have a key. I need to find a key for this. I need to find a I key. I forgot. For this. I need a key. Didn't I get a key? I need to find the key for this. Where does that key even go to? Oh wait! Isn't that the clock thing? <gasps> This has to go on the clock. It just explodes. Ah! I should set the clock. How do I know what to set it to, though? I should set the clock. It says 13, so would that be like here? No. How do you know where it's supposed to go? I should set the clock. Well, I thought 13th too, but that would be this. I should set the clock. Exploding clock! What a great idea for a gender reveal. I just did one o'clock. This is one o'clock, right? That's what I literally just did. Unless I'm reading it wrong. I don't think I can change the long I hand. I should set the clock. I should set the clock. Yeah, I can't, I can't change this one. I should set the clock. I can't change it, chat. It sounds like none of them are working. Of course, it's the last, <laughs> the last one. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> when in doubt, don't think about it. Just smash every button and see what happens. Let's go. Huh? What? What does this mean? 
I don't understand. But there's no like cursor thing on here, so I can't. The only thing I can move is these things. I didn't see anything around here that teaches you what to do with it. to find the key for this. I don't know. Maybe they're not all supposed to be the one Oh, oiling the wheel? The wheel is stuck. Oh, <gasps> you're so right. Your mind. I thought it was the thingy. Let go. A piece of flannel. Who wears flannel? Does Maddie wear flannel? Oh, I did that. Okay. That's fine. I thought someone did that to me. <laughs> did someone say flannel? I'm here. I'm doing great, Queen. How are you? Maybe I should talk to Maddie, because she seems to be the one that's like, tell me everything. My ex-boyfriend. It's open. Have you found anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Who wears flannel? I feel like I also missed the, um... There's like a secret hidden entrance here, I feel like, and I wanna get in, but I can't. I didn't think there was anything else here I haven't seen, though. What are you eating? Just chips. Just an easy snack for streaming. I wear flannel, but I have a solid alibi. Where were you on November 13th, 1999 in a video game? It's you again. What do you want? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. I love her. It's open! Where is she? I want to talk to her. Oh, I didn't see this. <gasps> What's this stuff? Oops. I want to speak to her. But I don't know where she is. Hiding, probably. I don't know. What if it was her? <laughs> Could you imagine? I can't get in here. I don't... All right, I'm trying to talk to people, but nobody wants to talk to me. I don't get it. Taxi. Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. I wonder if she thinks she's doing a good job at being undercover as a proper manager. Yeah, she's like, no one can tell I run this whole company. 
it's locked. Hey, taxi! Everyone's Where avoiding me. Lady? 7226 Lexington Everyone's Avenue. avoiding me on purpose. On my way. Will someone answer my questions? Bess called for you while you were out. <gasps> Bess? My bestie! I love her. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy, tell me everything. Did you get Rick's autograph for me? No, He's he died. He's so gorgeous. It must be so exciting to be on the set with all those stars. George filled me in on everything that's happened, so tell me who the suspects are. I can't believe someone would do this to Rick. America's sweetheart. You know, it just might be Rick who's behind these threats. <sighs> no way, Nancy. Why would he send death threats to himself? <laughs> Get real. Bus is on the parasocial relationship train. Maybe it's a cover-up, and he's trying to blame someone else. But Rick's not like that. He always seems Rick so caring. Rick would never do that. On the other hand, his character isn't all that nice. Do you think some psycho fan who's confused reality with fiction could be doing this? It's Buzz. <laughs> Buzz, do you have something to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Maddie joked about it being Yuri behind all of these threats. No, Rick's not dead. Maybe Rick not has yet. an evil twin in real life, too. Ugh, what is it with evil twins and soap operas? I wonder when they're going to have evil triplets. So, Princess who are Switch the other two, suspects? Baby. With Vanessa Hudgens. Um. Let's see. There's this odd woman who's the prop master. That must be Millie Strathorn. Did you know she owns the entire network and it's worth millions? She's a total cat lover. I heard she treats her cats like royalty. As she so should. who are the other suspects? Maddie is really nice, but I can't rule her out. Oh my gosh. What if gosh. she's right around the corner? Wouldn't she lives here. Wouldn't it be weird if Maddie was behind it all? What if Maddie really had a secret motive to get rid of Rick? Like Marlena on Crimson Cove last year. Oh my God, Bess. This is real life. Yes! Oh my god. I don't think so, Bess. Real life isn't a soap opera, you know. So, who are the other suspects? The producer doesn't exactly like Rick, but I've yet to meet him in person. Who's the producer now? Is it William Pappas? Worldwide just hired him like six months ago to improve their ratings. Crimson Cove is really beating Light of Our Love. There's the director, Lillian Weiss, who's not a very happy camper. I oh, yeah. Her. Chatter Magazine had a whole spread on their breakup at some elegant restaurant. She dumped a whole pitcher of water on Rick's head. <sighs> Excuse me? Lillian and Rick dated? Mm-hmm. I think they started dating once he got onto the show. They'd always show up at these Hollywood premieres together. Okay, I'll be off in a minute. Nancy, I gotta go Someone soon. Someone needs to go on the internet. So who else have you met? My agent, Dwayne Powers, is pretty cool. My but agent. let's just say he's not one of Rick's number one fans. Never heard of him. It's so funny to hear you say my agent. So how did you hook up with him? He's Maddie's agent and her good friend. He pulled some strings so I could work as an extra to continue with my investigation. Wow, how exciting. So are there any other openings? I'll work for free. Okay, Mom, her. I'll be right down. Nancy, I gotta go. Give me a call later if you need some help, okay? Bye. Bye. I love her. She needs help, but I love her. Did someone leave this running, like all night <laughs> how long has the fire been going is it nighttime what time is it it's night okay let's go to bed good morning okay i called bess um i want to know who wears flannel i have so many questions Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Ah, uh, that recognizable New York City accent. <laughs> can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. 
Hmm. Will someone talk to me? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Where is he? It's open. Have you found anything out yet? Did Lillian and Rick date after you both broke up? Yeah, Rick had been after Lillian for a while, pretty much to meet her film friends from out west. I warned her about Rick, but she didn't listen. Now she bears a grudge against me. Typical. Rick's pretty good at loving and leaving them. What a loser. Yeah. Rick's not like that. Ugh. At least he wasn't with me. Everyone has this idea that he dumped me, but it wasn't at all like that. He had a lot of trouble dealing with the pressures of his career and a relationship at the same time. We saw it happening and agreed to split up. Rick's a wonderful guy. I have no regrets. But he literally dated Lillian right after you. How do you not see the writing in the stars? He's like, oh, it's just so hard. It's so hard for me to handle a career and a relationship at the same time. And then you guys break up and he immediately goes to, goes to date Lillian. This is like when guys break up with you and are like, I just need to work on myself. And it's like the number one excuse of like, I just want to go date someone else. <laughs> He's an asshole. You don't know him like we know yeah. him. I'll see you later, Maddie. Be careful, okay, Nancy? <laughs> Be careful. I want to talk to Rick so bad. I don't know where he is. Probably dead somewhere. Oh, can I talk to Lillian again? <gasps> it's you again. Yes. What do you want? Can I ask your advice on something? Rick's really been flirty with me. Should I take him seriously? <laughs> I think Rick's completely out of your league, but he'll flirt with any skirt. Well... <laughs> Am I in your league? <laughs> well, if you weren't good enough, if you were good enough for him, then why shouldn't I be? Petty Nancy has arrived. <laughs> well, if you were good enough for him, then why shouldn't I be? Listen, you don't know a thing about Rick and me. He used me to meet my friends from L.A. to try and schmooze his way into films. All along, I thought he really loved me. He just walked all over me. She's a broken woman. Maddie warned me about Rick, too. What business is it of hers if you date Rick or not? You know, she used to beg me not to go out with Rick. She was pathetic. If you ask me, she's totally lovesick with that guy. She does have his photos all over the apartment, so like... She's not entirely wrong. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Bye bye. Date me instead. It's open! Please. Where is she? I want to talk to everybody, but it's so hard. I don't. I don't really know what to do. Maybe I should call the agent? I need something to make this work. We did this already. Um, the only other thing I saw was this, but I can't get in there. I don't have anything to use the screwdriver on yet. I feel like there might be something in the prop room I didn't look at, and now it's just gonna sit there forever. I'll try to call him because I have his phone number. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington. Lillian Wise has a sex dungeon for way. sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, what was it? It was like. Oh, fuck, I didn't see it. Five 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 two nine zero zero. Five 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 two nine zero zero. Two nine zero zero. Power 
Powers Agency. Oh? How may I help you? Hi, Mr. Powers. It's Nancy Drew. Yes, Miss Drew. What can I do for you? Oh, this might be helpful. Have you met the prop master at Worldwide? She seems rather strange. Yes, I've met Millie once or twice. She's very eccentric. Actually owns a studio, but chooses to stay locked up in that prop room of hers. Rumor has it that she's trying to write Rick Arlen out of the show. I can see why. I'm afraid that I'm not making a very good impression on Lillian. She doesn't seem to like me very much. I don't see why she would. Lillian is very professional, though I think she doesn't care for Maddie very much. Why doesn't she like Maddie? I'm not sure, but without a doubt, it has something to do with Rick. He enjoys creating trouble. He hates Rick. I think he's too obvious of a suspect, though. Like... Like, I could sit here and be like, oh, he hates Rick, so it's probably him. But I feel like that makes him too obvious. So I feel like it's going to be someone less obvious, like Lillian or something. Hmm. How does he enjoy creating trouble? When I worked with Rick at the Belfry, he was always playing off of people's weaknesses, starting rumors and fights. He always seemed to prey on the most gullible people. That's me. Can I get a pass that lets me get into the studio during the night? Not unless Lillian is shooting a scene at night. That entry code is confidential for obvious reasons. If you ever have a valid reason for getting in, I could, of course, give you the code. I'm just nosy. Is that valid? The producer seems pretty upset lately. He's always yelling. Oh, he's just blowing off steam. Rick's recent threats about leaving the show have put an undue amount of pressure on him. Upper management seems to fear that the ratings will fall if Rick leaves. Although I really can't picture that since Maddie is the real star of Light of Our Love. What do you make of these threats against Rick? Maddie's very concerned about them. I don't believe them. Rick was always known for his odd sense of humor and practical jokes. Unfortunately, Maddie always fell for them, just like she's doing now. Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. I didn't really get much from that. I like to know how things are working out at Worldwide. Okay. Well, bye. Um, I didn't really get anything from that. Taxi. Where can I take you? I could, of course, Miss? give you the code, but Broadway, that would be too easy. Um, could there be anything else here? No. I would assume not. Can I help you? Hello. Here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. Goodbye. Um. I don't really know what to do. It's open. Have you found anything out yet? No, Literally not nothing. yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. I have a screwdriver that I have not used yet. So I'm like, I feel like I need to use the screwdriver on something, but I don't know what. It's open! And I need glue. I don't know where the glue is. And I don't know what to use. What the hell? Have we found a door with no, with no doorknob yet? The answer lies beneath your eyes. So something here is an answer. The Voyage of M. Strathern. Is that what was in the diary? I think that's what the diary was. It was like a voyage or something. I was thinking there was something under the map too. Let's look at it again. Oh! I thought I had to like open it to look. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now we have blinders. I 
I can't do anything with this. I still want these keys. They're just sitting there. I want to hold them. You never know when you're going to need a pair of keys. I still don't see anything I can use a screwdriver with. Can I break this open? No, okay. Was the diary here? Nor? Mm. Oh, it was here. It's so hard to read this. That doesn't seem important right now. Shane, thank you for 53 months. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Talk to the old lady. Like, what do I do with this doorknob? It's open. To set the clock. We set the clock already, though. Have you found anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Maybe I have to go back to set. I need something to make this work. It's weird that I kind of have to like spam, <laughs> spam the like key card thing. The wheel is stuck. Again? Maybe there's something up there I can use the tools with. A typewriter does look old, yeah. I used to have a typewriter when I lived with my mom and I loved it. I thought it was so cool. Can I? I can't touch it. Why can't I pick this up? I feel like that's kind of important. And I can't keep walking. I can't turn right. Okay, so I've seen everything I can see from here, I think. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this is the second game ever. Secrets Can Kill is the first one, and then this is um, the one that came afterwards. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this gave me nothing. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I was so excited. Ooh, what's this receipt? This is one of the harder ones because there's no um, like to-do list or whatever. I'm gonna try to talk to Lillian one more time because I miss her. It's you again. Oh, what do you mind. want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. All right, well, that's fine. I guess I'll just go home. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226. Oh, Lexington cool! Avenue, I didn't know there was an Answer Your Files way. series. It's locked. Is it the same story? Like teenager killed at school or whatever? That was an intense story for a Nancy Drew game. Someone dying? Hi, Rocky! Thank you for 20 months. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna call George. I'm gonna call 
call someone. We're gonna call the police. <laughs> Fane residents. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? Oh, nothing. Oh. I'm officially an extra on the set. Wire cutters. But, um, there's not much to do. Not much to do? I bet it'd take you weeks to discover all of the nooks and crannies in that studio. So passionate. Who knows? Maybe you'll stumble upon some hidden passageways. <sighs> TV studios are always full of them. That's what I was trying. I found one, but I can't do anything with it. Rick was almost killed by a falling Klieg light. Oh my gosh! Is he all right? Yeah, he's was fine. It, it was accident? hilarious. It appears to be an accident, but they've closed off the set. Have you searched the area? Maybe the light was sabotaged to fall. I'm certain that it was. I found a light clamp on stage that looks as if it had been sawed through. That pretty much narrows your suspects down to someone in the studio. This had to be an inside job. I found a pair of wire cutters. <laughs> you always find the oddest things lying about. Hold on to it. I'm sure it'll be useful somewhere. Maybe it'll be needed in an upcoming scene. Try to find a script to see where it's needed. Talk to you later. Good oh, luck she's and be giving careful. me hints. <laughs> I was like, why are you speaking in riddles? She's literally giving me hints. Script? Okay, that's just a diary, so I don't think that's related. Was that box on the chair there before? Box on the chair? Which chair? Oh, I didn't even see that! That's me! Nancy, I hope you're enjoying your trip to New York. I thought you might find this tape of interest to your case. It's a TV interview with Rick Arlen on a soap opera news show. You know, for a young lad, he's quite fetching. <laughs> Take care and be careful, Nancy. <coughs> okay. Thank you. I didn't even see that. <coughs> Let's turn on the television. I need something to make this work. Is it remote first? Ah. Uh. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios Worldwide with Broadcast. Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. <laughs> Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress, Greta Von Kamloops, at Cannes earlier this How year? How many women is he dating? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh, no. Future? No, well, I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. <laughs> oh, Rick. Me trying to get you guys to subscribe with Twitch Prime. <laughs> I need something to make this work. All right, that's enough. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe Nancy. that opened up some paths. Can I take you today, miss? Hi, Vin Vin, how are you? Broadway, please. And I have, I know, I haven't played this one since I was a kid. Can I help you? I've never beaten it. Hello. It's Here's really hard pass. to get this working Hello, on Ms. PC because it's not on Steam. Thank you. you may proceed. But we got it. Is he here now? Can I talk to him? Hello? Oh my god! Die, Rick. Play me. Oh my god, they left some cash! That's so nice! This is the part with the bomb! I have no idea what they're saying. I didn't understand a word, but I remember this part being the part with the bomb where every time I leave, it explodes. Okay, no, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> this scene is saved in my 
my mind forever. Watch. What? <laughs> the whole place explodes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is where I got stuck as a kid. So there's an explosive in here? How'd they get in? This is my question. Is it in here? No. I can't open that bottom cabinet. Where is it? Where did you put the bomb? I will say I didn't understand a word that it said. Where is the bomb? This is why I got stuck. I have no idea where this bomb is. We're gonna blow up again. I'm sorry, you guys. Nancy's gonna explode. It's okay, she respawns. Where is it? It's not in any of the cabinets. Oh, is it in here? Oh my God, I'm so dumb. The cover is on too tight. Yeah, I know, I'm freaking out, okay? <gasps> what? Do I have to, do I cut a wire? What does this mean? Nothing's in red. I don't know what to do. Oh, she's gonna explode. What do you do here? <laughs> okay, well, at least I know where it is now. Hello? I'm not even going to bother playing it because there's no subtitles and I can't hear a damn thing. So, oh, it starts from 30 as soon as you open it. Nothing highlights in red, which I'm like, I don't really, I don't really know what to do. No, when nothing highlights in red, that means I literally can't do anything. So I'm not really sure what to do here. This is why I got stuck. Um. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know because, so like in Nancy Drew, when you can interact with something, the, the magnifying glass turns red, but if you can't, then there's no, there's no red thing, so like, I don't know what to do with it. And I can't understand Hello? what the thing is saying. Cause it's like so hard to listen to. Hello, Rick. Don't try to the room. The door's locked. And check out my first warning. Somewhere in this room is an explosive device that will blow in the eye of the spider rays. I think it's just jokes. I think they're just like... I don't think it tells me anything about what to do with this. Oh, oh that's in red. Lives. All right, we're going with red. <laughs> I 
wasn't red. All right, it wasn't red. Let's Hello. try this again. <laughs> so you can only cut the wires at like the, um, at the timer. You can't cut them anywhere else. All right, I'm feeling good about orange. <laughs> Hello. Let's do this again. Uh. All right, blue is the one for sure. Third time's the charm. <laughs> well, we only have Hello? one option left. And if it's not that, then I don't know, man. <laughs> this is canon, Nancy dies. This is part of the story. All right, yellow, come on yellow. <laughs> You have to cut them in a certain order. Okay, yellow, orange. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? <sighs> this is really tedious. Maybe yellow, blue, oops. Can I save here? Like right here? Okay. And then we can just load the save and maybe it'll be a little bit faster. Okay. Yellow. Blue. <laughs> I have a 33% chance of getting it right on the first try. And I get it wrong 100% of the time. At least that music the stopped. The cover is on too tight. Okay. Yellow, red, blue? You must be fucking joking. I did not get it right on the first try a single time. Not a single time. Didn't that horoscope, horoscope we read earlier say that I had really good luck? What happened to that? <gasps> Did I just get arrested? It was pretty scary for a minute. Oh, I'm fine. And then what happened? Once I defeated Easy, the bomb, first try. got out of there. I called the police. Oh, uh, that was, I was really stuck easy. At the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Ms. Drew. This is Bill. Ned is very calm for, for someone love. whose girlfriend almost to thank exploded. thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. Uh, he says detained like I got arrested. I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Pappas, but it was nothing really. Well, I believe you're very brave for what you've done. I can't help but wonder, though, what you were doing in Rick's room. Uh, uh I don't think I'm going to tell him I'm investigating. I found that it was open and let myself in. Nancy, can I call you Nancy? I hate to be blunt about this, but we can't allow anyone to just walk into people's dressing rooms. <gasps> Maybe your security should just get better. Perhaps you should enforce better security then. What? Hey, ever since Rick started getting threats, we've taken every measure to ensure his safety. We've even hired more security after that accident in the studio. Oh, so then how'd that bomb get into his dressing room? Hmm. Ever since, ever since the threats started? So that was weeks ago. So why is there a bomb in his dressing room today, huh? Perhaps we can meet in person to discuss the case. Uh, no. I'm very busy at the moment. But seeing what you did today, I guess I owe you one. 
What do you need to know? Mm, oh my God. Jesus. Can I ask all of these? Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Of course we do. We have a whole department set up for audio recording. And we also have some mixers in the control room. Do you think I can see them sometime? We're very busy with production right now and we're no longer conducting tours. If you, oh, hold on. No, get someone else no. for that. <laughs> we need to have someone on standby if he decides to leave. Sorry about that, Nancy. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> How much time do you have? Who else has access to the staff offices? The usual people. Janitors, some assistants, Millie, security. Now, is there anything else you need to ask of me? Millie! In a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. And of course, all of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics but I couldn't picture any of them making a bomb. Are there many temporary employees working at the studio? Yes, but all of our employees, either temps or permanent, are highly qualified and come from the best agencies. We don't hire just anyone, and we carefully screen our employees. Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? That's impossible. This set has been closed down tight since that accident. I even hired extra security. My own mother couldn't have gotten in here. Is there video surveillance of the dressing room? Uh, we're currently working with the police on that. But there are no security cameras in the dressing rooms. Yeah, wouldn't they be in like the hallway? Are there many people who have access to the studio at night? Only our key talent and some of the floor managers have access. And of course, myself and Lillian. But we've often got projects going on around the clock. Post-production work and set design to name a few. Can I have a list of everyone who's been in the studio at night? That's confidential. Yeah, I need to, do you know, uh, do any of your employees wear flannel? <laughs> Who takes care of the teleprompter? Well, in theory, it's the lead scriptwriter's job to manage that part of production. But a lot of actors, especially Maddie, like to edit their script to add emphasis or direction. Is Ms. Strathorn the lead scriptwriter? No, not at all. She's always submitting scripts and story ideas to our writers but they never go anywhere. Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pavis. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. He's so friendly. I love him. We officially got to the point where I got stuck as a kid. I've never made it this far before. I'm so excited. I think here's a good place to stop it because we've been playing for quite a while.